If I throw a jab like that in a fight, there's a good chance I'll get knocked out, especially if I'm in with an opponent who's got experience, an opponent who's good and can punch hard, because I'm being lazy, and that's number one. Throwing a lazy jab is one of the worst habits that I see in boxing. Throwing it there, bringing it back down. Throwing it there, bringing it back down. I loved it if I was in a ring with someone and they threw that jab, because I would just come straight over with that jab. Whoa! Big right hand and it is good night. And on this video I'm going to give you four more, which makes five of the most common mistakes that I see when people are throwing this jab. And the jab is the most important punch in boxing, so it's very important that you learn how to perfect it. And after watching this video, you're going to get a great understanding of it. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a tip so you can throw a really fast jab like Floyd Mayweather, They're giving you his secret so you can get more speed behind it. So wait to the end of the video to watch that. And if you're new here, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic bronze medalist boxer my jab was my best punch I'm also an undefeated professional boxer uh, seven times national champion European gold medalist and on this YouTube channel I give you everything boxing how to punch harder how to punch faster how to get better reactions better footwork all of that good stuff so if you want to get better at boxing make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification for more videos like this so let's get straight to the video like I just showed you there number one is a lazy jab don't throw a lazy jab because you will get caught and hurt just like I did in, in this video clip right here. As you can see, I'm throwing lazy punches, boom! I get whacked with that right hand over the top. And you know, that was my own fault. Don't let that happen to you. Okay, now let's move on to number two, which is telegraphing the punch. If you telegraph your punch, which means I can see it coming, you're wasting your time throwing it. You're not just wasting your time throwing it, but you're going to get counted and you're going to get battered as well. So don't be telegraphing your jab. Now that means something like this. This is a telegraph from the jab. It might not look like it, but it is. I telegraphed it. Now you might be thinking, what? I didn't see you were going to throw that. Watch again. Telegraph. Yeah, you, when, when you're in the ring with someone with experience, that split second telegraph, you can see that coming. So I'm gonna show you again. This time, we're gonna do it in slow motion. I'm gonna throw it fast, but we're gonna edit it in slow motion. Yeah, you've seen that, right? I pulled it back before I threw it. And that is a common mistake there. Don't throw the punch back before you throw it. It needs to come straight out and straight back like this. Yeah, no telegraphing there. Let's move on to number three, which is fully extend it. Fully extend that jab. Now, the jab is the most important punch in boxing for a reason. It is to find the range. It is to it can get you in the range to throw the punches and get you out of danger, but it's to find the range. Now, if you think about it, if I can't land this jab, I'm not going to be able to land this one because the jab, obviously, it's closer. If I can't land the jab, how am I supposed to land a hook to the body? or an uppercut. It's your range finder. Now use it properly and fully extend it. Get it all the way out. I'll see it all the time in the gyms in, in here in Los Angeles where it'll be tsh, tsh, there and back. Nah, no, get it fully extended. Use your reach advantage as an advantage. Even if you're shorter than your opponent, still you want to fully extend it and get in your feet in there to land it. So it'll look like this. Psh, woo! Seen that one, right? Psh, psh. Yes fully extend that jab. Let's move on to number four. Now this one is something that I see novices doing all the time and it's flicking it. Boom. Flicking it out there like this. <laughs> you can get some speed when you do that, but it's a terrible jab. It doesn't just look terrible. If you're landing it, it's not going to do anything. It's going to have very little effects. And if you're throwing a jab at me and it's having no effect, I'll walk straight through your jab and beat you up with both of my hands. So make sure your jab is having some effect. Now, if you throw it straight and strong, like I've just showed you the last one, bah, rather than flicking out like this, you're gonna have some good success with it. Now let's move on to the fifth and final one, which this one really makes you look silly when you're doing it. Don't drop your other hand. Keep your non-punched hand by your face at all times. Whoom, whoom, this is what I see. Nah, don't be doing that. Keep this up. Keep this tight. If I throw a jab 
and I'm doing that, they can easily slip, bum, and whack me with that left hook. And I used to love it when I seen people who would throw a jab at that because I would really go after them on that right side of the body. So guys, don't do that. Okay, before I show you how Floyd me with it, get so much speed in his jab, let's have a little recap of what we've just went over there. You should never be throwing a lazy jab. You should never be telegraphing your jab. Always fully extended. Stop flicking it out. Don't flick it out. And the last one is keeping your non-punching hand up at all times. Okay, Floyd Mayweather, Money Mayweather. He's got one of the fastest jabs in the business. And how does he do it? What's the secret behind it? Well, he does throw the traditional jab, but also he throws this jab here. And what I'm doing right here is I'm having my jab out. My jab is off me face. It's halfway to the target. And it comes from me face all the way out and just back here. Now, if you think about this, it's got half the distance to travel from here to here. So if it's got half the distance to travel, it's going to get there twice as fast. So here it is one more time. Now you need to watch this video next so you don't telegraph your punches. Like I mentioned, telegraphing your punches is a bad mistake. If you click here, watch this one next, it'll give you all the tips and tricks to show you how to not telegraph your punches. Click here.